Mm. Wow. <laughs> Number one. Mm -hmm. Filter from whom the criticism is coming from. Okay. How do I develop my mm. ideas? Let me use the best approach. Okay. The simplest approach. Okay. The approach that nobody does mm -hmm. many times. Or people who don't end up becoming very successful do. Okay. Get up. Hi everyone, welcome to Actualize Talks. My name is Gloria Njuguna. I will be your host for today. In studio work, privileged to have Dr. C come back again. Hey, how are you? I'm great, how are you? As great as always. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the question or topic at hand. Awesome. Yes. Thank you so much for clicking on this video for today. Today is going to be pretty chilled. All right. We're going to have fun as we do this video. Mm -hmm. We're going to get to know Dr. C a little bit as we get to ask him questions as we've always done in actually his talks. Are you All ready? All right. I'm not sure if I'm ready. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm ready, but we'll see yeah. how much I disclose and how much I refuse to disclose. Trust me. It's not personal questions. Okay. They're fun questions. All right. You ready? Sure. All right. So uh, question or rather the topic of discussion today is ideas. Ideas. Yes. Okay. Ideas. Cool, cool. Short, sweet questions. Okay? okay. So how do I generate a new idea? Okay, just for question base. Okay. Am I supposed to answer short and sweet also, or am I you supposed can. to? How am I supposed to answer the way I want to? Or yeah. Whatever? Just answer how you feel led to do. Okay. Yes. How do you come up with an idea? So how do you generate a new idea? Generating a new idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> You generate a, a new idea uh -huh. by examining the, the market's uh, wants and needs. Okay. I like that. Yeah. So yeah. you look at a market, whatever type of market it is. Yeah. And by the word market, I'm just talking about a space with people who need something. Yeah. Okay. You look at what is the need out there yes. in the community. Yeah. And then you answer that question yeah and you try to make sure that you hopefully that question is within your purpose right so and you'll be able to fulfill the need in the community there you go okay awesome mm -hmm. next question yes what's your favorite meal Ooh, okay well you, you hopefully i should ask you that what is my favorite meal today is you okay. on the hot seat my favorite meal yes is usually something simple i like a chapati mm. For those who know what chapati is, yeah. chapati is like roti. Mm -hmm. For and for those who don't know chapati or roti, it's like a flatbread. Yeah. Um, it's like a is it pita bread or what is it's, it? It's a flatbread. It's a flatbread. Yeah. Okay. It's like a tortilla. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I like chapati with pilau rice, mm -hmm. and these are it's <laughs> hard to explain because it is uh, what you call a mix of sub-Saharan. Yes. Right, global center, yeah. Arabic, and Indian m spices mixed together. Okay. So I like that type of pilau rice, Kenyan pilau rice. Mm -hmm. And then I like a simple stew of potatoes and beef, um, and then <laughs> spinach. Okay. So yeah. it's not complicated. It's not like uh, if you ask me about desserts, if you want uh, something more complicated, but I, I like just a simple meal. Simple meal. Mm. I knew you'd explain. I knew it. I uh, knew it. Hey. But that's good. Yes. <laughs> so how do I clarify my idea? How do I clarify my idea? Yeah. So you have this or big... my ideas. Okay. You yeah. have this big picture that you want to execute. Yes. And you're trying to figure out how do I make this into 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 clarification. Number one, does this thing fit into my current purpose in life? Correct. Right, my current context in yeah. life. Right. Mm -hmm. Does this? Do I seem? Is this where I see myself? Because mm -hmm. you're gonna if you come into mm -hmm. an idea, it's gonna take a lot. It takes yeah. a lot of energy. <laughs> it does. Right. So yes. clarify that's where you want to be. That's where your purpose is in life. Okay. Then within that idea, you must breaking it break it down to a vision goal. Okay. You cannot be the jack of all visions. Like you can't say, oh, you know, I've seen so many people, and this is the number one error <laughs> that most people do. Yeah. Even myself. Yeah. We want to do everything. Oh, I want to do this and 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 do this. Yeah. And you think I'm gonna accomplish a million and mm. one things. If you want to be great. Focus on very few vision goals at a time. 
So within the plethora of that huge market, yeah. what one thing can you do really excellent already right now that you have knowledge of? Don't get yourself in things that you don't have experiential knowledge of. Yeah. Uh, or you, you, so that you're just flying, right? Okay. So start with the things that you know. Make that your vision goal. Then once you have that particular vision goal within, like, I'll tell you, for example, you can say, oh, I want to be in agriculture. Mm. Well, which part of agriculture? Yeah. Do you want to do with commodity trading where you buy the, do you want to be the farmer? Mm -hmm. Do you want to be the person supplying the seed? Yeah. Do you want to be the person supplying the fertilizer? Right. I mean, there's so many things within agriculture. Yeah. So figure out what you actually know how to do, what thing you're going to feel good and happy about, right. then focus on that. Then you can build after you have done well in that area. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So in all the countries in the world, mm. all the continents, all right. which one is your favorite? <laughs> that one I'm not going to say. Ah, uh, why? Yeah. <laughs> because I, you know, the funny thing is I had, um, and some people will be mad, right? Because they'll be like, well, why didn't you just say Sub-Saharan Africa, you know, and end with yeah. it. Uh, because this is the thing. Okay. At one point of in life, mm -hmm. I was... Only maybe, you know, I'll be like, I, I studied African politics yeah. and that was it. Then I wanted to go into, into international organizations okay. and stuff like that, mm -hmm. uh, which a lot are in Europe and the West uh, to work in one of them. But now, to be quite honest, <laughs> I see the world as my proverbial backyard. The, mm -hmm. I, I, right now, I'm... I, 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 I am globally minded in the sense that I don't have like a favorite where I'm like, this is it or this is it. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. I see myself as like, I like this part of okay. Africa. I like this part of America okay. or North America. I like mm -hmm. this part of Asia. I like this mm -hmm. part. So I have multiple places around the world <laughs> that I like. Sorry. So <laughs> that's my answer. <laughs> Which is the favorite so part multiple, in the world? Multiple places. Multiple places. <laughs> Dr. Okay. Casper is not an uncomplicated, is, is a very complicated person probably. <laughs> it's okay. Yes. It's okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, All right. how do I develop my mm. ideas? How do I develop <laughs> my ideas? All right. Yes. Um, let me use the best approach. Okay. The simplest approach. Okay. The approach that nobody does mm -hmm. many times or people who don't end up becoming very successful do. Okay. Get a coach. Mm, I like that. Okay. How can you develop something you have no experience, aptitude or understanding of? Mm, yeah. It's going to take you a very long time. A lot of trial and error. Or you can find somebody who's walked down that road. Yeah. Humble yourself. Ask for help. Mm. Okay. And in fact, if you can, pay for it. <laughs> true. Because whatever yeah. you pay for, you commit to. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> All right. So you don't want to waste the money. Don't waste the, the money. Yeah. Right. Mm. So that's it. Just find a great coach. Find a great mentor. Tell them this is what you want to do. Yeah. Let them walk you through it. Submit yourself to them okay. and allow them to help you along the journey. Make your life shorter. Make your life. All these things about self-made, all these things about uh, I did it all by myself, all these yeah. things we glorify people. If you really go ask them, they'll tell you, you know what? I mean, if they if they if they are honest, they'll say, "Oh man, when I started, I ran into this person, yeah. and this person connected me and told me one, two, three about how to do the business. Mm -hmm. Then I moved to this person. That person taught me that person. That person. Why? That's how we grow as human beings and human That's communities. Mm -hmm. So if you're isolated, if you think that, oh man, I have this great idea, I'm all gonna do by myself. Yeah. You know, recently I um, I ran into somebody that I never thought. I mean, I don't. I, I like them, but we, we have some things in life we don't really agree with, right? Yeah. And I was watching them, yeah. right? And um, somebody had written all these things that 
they took so much energy and time to do. <laughs> and they brought to this yeah. person who had a PhD. Now, that's my background. Yeah. And if you are a PhD and you publish a peer review, okay, let me explain the difference between a published author okay. and a published PhD author. Okay. A published author is somebody who writes a book, uh, does a good job. Well, let me make three categories. A writer mm -hmm. who's professionally trained is a person who has taken time and has been educated and writes very well and passes it to along to other very well uh, accomplished writers okay. and they come up with something. Yeah. Then, so I want to move that aside so I don't, I can put the side like the really good <laughs> people who are like, yeah. that's their profession, they're actually right writers. Yes. They have gotten through the training okay. and the rigor of how to construct something very well. Yeah. Then you have the general population. Mm -hmm. To them, being a published author is just putting something on paper, yeah. giving it to somebody called a publisher who, yeah. who puts the book together mm -hmm. and you sell it. Yes. Then you have the PhD writer, mm -hmm. which is somewhat similar to the professional writer. A PhD writer must go through peer review. Yeah. This means you come up with an idea. Yes. Be before you even write anything, you begin mm -hmm. to ask your peers, mm -hmm. does this make sense? Yeah. Is it, I have this idea. Right. And so you start writing short papers yeah. and short things. And what their job is to do is to give you an analysis and a critique. Yes. And let me tell you, it's mm -hmm. brutally honest. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. They're going to tell you, okay, this is dumb. <laughs> this won't work. Yeah. Empirically, this makes no sense. Your data has not considered one, two, and three. Wow. You have endogeneity. You have this. Yeah. You have not considered the scope. All right. Mm. And the feasibility, the falsification. Yeah. Now, this person went ahead and wrote this whole thing. Gave it to a PhD who's a friend. Yeah. The PhD tore it up, which is the job of your PhD. A PhD goes line by line, looks at every argument, looks yeah. at the logic, look at the, looks at the logical sequence and explains to you the probability of occurrence based on your hypothesis, theory or claim. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and the person got back a red, you know, a red looking piece White of... White paper came back red. red. <laughs> and yeah. they never recovered. Yeah. They got mad at the person, Aww. they never recovered. And this is why you shouldn't give PhDs your work to <laughs> review. All right, warning, be warned. Be warned. I, I actually, Beware. I actually did that to somebody, and then I realized I needed oh, to pull back. Yeah. Uh, later on, they understood that's okay. my strength, yeah. and then they actually began to like it okay. because they're like, "Wow, you do a good job." Yeah. But before, it was like, "Oh my God!" Oh, they no. thought like. <laughs> this person is beating me up but you know for me i just came from like that world <laughs> yes. so i don't know how to put it softly yeah it's like this word is incorrect this logic is not yeah. true blah 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 okay so um that's why you have a coach okay All i know right. this is a long explanation no it's okay but that's why you have it's a coach <laughs> because a coach will help you tell you uh will help tell you this is why shark tank is so a oh, big deal yeah. as a tv show yes. because within five minutes you're sitting across four people with about probably quantified 70 to 100 years of experience. Yeah. Plus, consider all the experience of the people who had trained them, add that onto that, yeah. and then they give you a five-minute critique, and they are going to be brutally honest. Yeah. And if you are a person who is smart, you will take everything they say, and some of it is, you got a bad idea. Yeah. You have possibly great idea right or shift so yeah. figure out um, uh, what you're being told yeah is it time to shift is it time to okay. do it all right yeah hmm. all right all right so I know you're a stickler for lists you're a stickler of writing things down not lists mm -hmm. writing things down clear correct. on paper correct on tablet. correct <laughs> so I in stand your writing <laughs> <laughs> in your writing, mm -hmm. what is the one thing in your life you'd like to do? In my writing? No, no, no. Mm. When you're writing these things down that mm -hmm. you always write, mm -hmm. what is the one thing on the top of the list that you'd like to do? Wow. <laughs> you should give me like 20 minutes to think about that. <laughs> no. <laughs> chop, chop. What's the thing I'd like to do? Yeah. 
for someone or for Anything, myself for or yourself for, uh, for someone yeah uh <laughs> i think from the top of my head yeah i would like to establish um <laughs> a legacy okay. thing all right I'd like to establish a legacy thing with my family. Okay. Yeah, I think that would be oh, that would, nice. yeah, that would be yeah. something good. And by legacy thing I mean something that is self standing, self sufficient, right. uh something that can run and do it together with my family. That would be that would be nice. Oh yeah. I like that answer, yeah. sir. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. So um how do I turn my ideas into action? All right. So we build off the coach, mm-hmm. right? Or mentor. Yes. Uh, and I take this idea and I put it into action by doing what you just said. You write it down yeah. on a tablet or a paper. Yeah, paper. Yes. <laughs> That's your contract yeah. to yourself. It's true. If you don't write it down, it is like it did not exist. <laughs> Ideas and thoughts not written down, they evaporate. They yeah. are. Because you are, te- you have the tendencies to forget. Exactly. Yeah. So true. I'll say if you want to take do anything, yeah. here's the thing, write it down. Here's something that I will tell you that is quite interesting to me. I have come to understand, to a certain degree, there's a higher probability that people who are very analytical, okay. they they look at every dollar, they look at every single detail. Mm-hmm are very unsuccessful. Mm. Okay. Now that sounds like, like a contradiction, right? Yeah. That's not what you expect me to say. <laughs> because no. to to do stuff, you got to run and figure out as you go. True. Right? Yeah. If you try to put everything together, if you try to put everything together, you'll never even begin. That's true. Most people will tell you, if I knew what it was going to take mm-hmm. to build what I have be- built, yeah. I may have never started. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you something very contradictory. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, once you write it down, start running. Yeah. And as you're trying to figure stuff out, that coach that you talk to, you go and run back to them. Those relationships and those networks you created, you keep running back to them. Yeah. So it's not about trying to figure out every end and nook and cranny of, you know, that's what people do. They end up taking a whole year, yeah. coming up with budgets and coming up with what is this and what is that. Before they know it, they talk, they talk themselves out of it. Yeah. What I've learned from networking with among very successful people is that they believed the That's most true. important part of your idea is your faith on that idea okay okay you must have a belief and must be because a belief and faith requires a calculated jump into the unknown yeah if you're not willing to jump into the unknown you will never be able to do, you know, mm-hmm. yes, you do it in a smart way. Yeah. You do some calculations. Right. But don't try to calculate, ev- calculate the beginning, jump in. Let me tell you, I commend, I salute people who tried. Yeah. Let me tell you, yeah. people who laugh at people yeah. who tried and failed and they never did anything are in themselves greater failures. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because these are people who sit from the stands. Yeah. But let me tell you, if you play on a team, not every time you get on a pitch necessarily means you're going to win. It's true. You might take a, an, an L, you might take a loss. Yeah. But the thing is, you had the courage to get on that pitch. And the only way to know how to adjust is if you actually fail and realize like, oh, why, why did we lose that game? Yeah. Did you lose that game because you're playing the wrong sport? <laughs> did you lose that game because you did not adjust your defense or offense? So you got to play to know what to adjust. Right. 
So unless you th- oh, you're, you're willing to throw yourself. Yeah. Now, the thing is, I'm not saying that you just jump on a pitch without practice. Of course, you got to do a little bit of practice. That's true. But some people live in practice. Mm. Hey. <laughs> not getting to their end goal. Yeah. Hmm. And also, don't let other people's people pull you into their practice. Yeah. If you notice that somebody is always in practice, that's a person who's going to stop you from ever becoming great. Yeah. From actually making your ideas into action. If you're not a risk taker, yeah. go get employed. And, and stay in employment. Okay. And that's okay, by the way. Yeah. If you know you don't like risk, yeah. I would say stay in a very safe job. Uh, a job that you're not going to exit for 30 years. A job that will help at least take care of stuff. Yeah. Uh, because the life of taking an idea and building it yeah. is not an easy life. No, it's not. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So I also have to tell you the honest truth. Yeah. The majority of human beings work yeah. for somebody else's idea. True. Okay? Yeah. But even if you're working in somebody else's idea... It still takes a lot of risk to move from one position to another. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. And in today's world, there's really no job ladder. Most people just get fired randomly. So <laughs> are you willing to move from one company to another and risk losing a job? Right. So in the greater context, even going to work is risk because here's your risk. You can wake up today in today's jobs, they have no loyalty. No. They'll fire you. Yeah. You'll go to work one time in mm-hmm. the morning and you'll be told, oh, your job is gone. Yeah. That's the kind of world we live in. True. So they still risk, even yeah. in a workplace. You know, a lot of people say, oh, just be safe, job mm-hmm. ladder. Even they, this, you saw what happened in COVID. Yeah. People lost their jobs. There you go. Yeah. So I want you to know that greatness in life requires risk. Your idea. If you have faith, you may be you are willing to take a risk mm. on your idea. But make sure you get a coach to tell you whether your idea is great or whether your idea <laughs> is really not. Not. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe okay. that's this is not your strength. Yeah. Your gift. Okay. Yeah. So when you're in college, you talk about football a lot. All right. Ah, yeah. So tell us, Dr. C, what position did you play? Well, <laughs> I... I played well. A big part of my career, honestly, yeah. I didn't play. All right, I and I, I, my fresh, my, I, I, I redshirted. Yeah. I don't think I had the best college career as I would have wanted. Okay. At the end, I did uh, in terms of my senior year, yeah. and I had one more year because okay. I, uh, uh, I redshirted, but I chose not to take it, and I went on to more academics. Okay. Um, so, the. The time I actually enjoyed football was high school days. Okay. Uh, but on my football life, I played defensive line. Nice. Defensive line are the people who are like at the front. Yeah. Uh, Ones who take the hit. Who talk to take the hit, Ooh. and uh, or rather are trying to give other people <laughs> the hit, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> oh no! They give the hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. yeah. So we, I did that for six years. Um, and uh, it was an interesting journey. Yeah, it's a it was an interesting different world. <laughs> yeah, being an being an athlete, it's right. a it's a full time job. Even mm-hmm. if you're in college, yeah, uh, in terms of traveling True. and everything, right. But you meet you meet the most interesting people. <laughs> you meet lifelong friends. Yeah, you meet uh, all types of things. You live a different life than the the students. Yes. So it was an interesting uh, part of my life, awesome. you know, in yeah. uh, college sports. And yeah. and uh, when I was done, I was knew I was done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. That's when you change the idea to something else, to go into academics. There you go. Yeah. I, 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 <laughs> in college, yeah. I ended up shifting from going to college where my whole life was surrounded by football. Right. When I got to college, I began to have more, uh, if you can, if I call them trophies or plaques, 
for my academic <laughs> sports life yeah. than my sports sports so life. life. Yeah. So I ended up realizing that <laughs> the more I was in sports, yeah. the more it was more about my academic accomplishments. Mm-hmm. I actually became, uh, I'm a member of the National uh, uh, New Hampshire Society of the National Football Foundation. Okay. The, 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 uh, under the College Hall of Fame. Okay. Uh, class of... Uh, Class of what? Okay, I've even forgotten that year, <laughs> right? So yeah. I did get a lot of huge honors. Awesome. It was a privilege. Yeah. Uh, it was a privilege being under all those coaches. It was yeah. a privilege being with all those players. Of course. Uh, I call it. I count it as a privilege. Now, did I have the success that I wished? No. Okay. But did I learn that I loved football? Yes. Yeah. But did I learn that this may not be my future? Yes. Okay. Right, this was okay. not going to be my future, yeah, but it paid for my education, hey, we'll and so that. I'll take that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay. Because of time, yes. last question mm-hmm. How do I handle idea criticism or failure? Mm. Let's wrap up this bowl of idea wow. with that last question. <laughs> wow, number one, mm-hmm. filter from whom the criticism is coming from okay all right what this tells you is make sure you're sharing ideas Mm -hmm. with people who have empirical context okay again i use the word empirical because empirical refers to experiential knowledge therefore if i have an idea i need to go to somebody who has done the same thing or is in that particular sector yeah because when they tell me this is not gonna work they are talking from 20 years of experience 40 years of experience and they're saying brother i'm telling you (laughs) i don't really think this is a great idea yeah yeah okay okay uh and failure you tried something and it failed Right. All right. Hmm. You should count yourself very fortunate to have been among the few humans who actually took a shot and missed. Because majority of people never Hmm. take the shot. They never do it. You know what uh, success is? Hmm. Success, I like Dale Carnegie's definition. Success is not the end goal. Success is also the process towards the goal. Okay. Wow. The fear of people Mm -hmm. is failure. Yeah. The genius of Mm -hmm. great men Mm -hmm is realizing when you play sports, yeah. basketball, yeah. You'll miss, you may miss most of your shots. Right. In fact, you'll probably miss most of your shots. Yeah. If you play baseball you'll miss, or cricket, you'll miss, you'll miss most of the balls. Yeah. It is not about missing or hitting. Right. It's about counting yourself fortunate enough to be the people mm-hmm. who swing the bat. Right. Because when you swing the bat, yeah. you will learn, huh, <laughs> the sweetness of life is the cost. <laughs> yeah. You, 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 yeah. you, oh, I lost. Oh my goodness, I yeah. lost some money in that investment. Wow. Okay, yeah. how did I lose? <laughs> I invested <laughs> foolishly without asking a coach. I didn't understand what I was doing. Nijikute. Yeah. <laughs> if, if I ever find myself now i know yeah. i can invest here right yeah oh this was not my strength yeah so guess what yeah. as i'm going guess what eventually yeah. if i keep the courage yes i'm gonna start winning more than losing mm-hmm. it's true you get what i'm saying yeah so be of courage be of cheer yeah even if you lost on your idea it was only a training ground to help you to get to the next idea true. when you go when you get a no <laughs> Say next opportunity. <laughs> I finished that up for you. Thank you. <laughs>
You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, <laughs> Dr. C. Yes. It was such a fun video. Awesome. And also in a learning video. So I felt like we were in class mm -hmm. at the same time getting to know you as well. Right. Um, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Like we always say, like, share, and subscribe uh, to our channel. And make sure you leave a comment. Let us know what, on what topics you would like to hear about. We would love to hear from you. Um, and with that, Dr. C, we are, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Yes. And, and keep, keep actualizing. actualizing. Welcome to Actualize Talks, your destination for purpose discovery, setting vision goals, and fostering leadership growth. I'm joined in studio by Dr. Kasper. Dr. Kasper. Joining me now in the studio, we have Dr. Kasper.